Heavenly Father, as thy word is truth, confirm thy word with signs and wonders of the resurrected Jesus. We know that when he was on earth, he didn't claim to be a great person. He only claimed that you showed him visions what to do. He knew the thoughts of the people, their conditions. He knew when the woman had a blood issue had touched his garment. She was standing out there and she seen she could not be hid for Jesus was looking right at her. He knew. He said, thy faith has saved thee. And Father, we know that he is here tonight because he promised to be. And our confidence is anchored in him. In his word, we're sure we have seen him in the manifestation of his great resurrection here on earth, working among his people in his church. And Lord, let us be today the light givers of this age, that when the great drama is set at the end of the road, and each one of us comes up before you, and the great screen is pulled out, and our lives of this generation is brought back before us. God, let me hear my voice screaming against unrighteousness and calling to people to believe on Jesus, thy son. Bless the people here tonight. There's some intense heat. And I pray, God, that you will give them a special blessing. May the soothing powers of the Holy Spirit take away all the thoughts of this. And Lord... Sanctify thy servant just now for the service coming on. Standing here realizing that eyes will be turned this way. And I pray, Father, the humility that you will let your great, glorious power be known to everyone. And if thy unworthy servant has found grace in thy sight for tonight, may you take this unworthy person move the being out and come in Lord Jesus and speak to your people and when life is all over here on earth the last prayer has been prayed the battles are all done the smoke's dried up gone away the arms are stacked the Bible's closed and we come up to your house that great morning Breaks eternal bright and fair when the chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, as the poet said. Lord, as we see that great table stretched out there for that supper, thousands of miles long, looking across the table to each other, battle scarred veterans, tears of joy running down our cheeks, the king come out in his beauty. Holiness walk down along the table and take his own hands and wipe the tears from her eyes, saying, Don't cry no more, it's all over. Enter into the joys of the Lord. The toil of the road will seem nothing then, Father, when we get to the end of the way. And help us tonight, Lord, to forgetting those things which are in the past. Let us press the mark of the high calling now. And may your spirit come and manifest your Son, Jesus Christ, to these people as I have tried as a mortal to tell them of you being the same yesterday, today, and forever. For we ask that in Jesus' name, my beloved child, amen.